so i was having this interesting conversation with final year students in engineering colleges and they were a little worried about the future of it the future of it jobs future of computer science jobs etc etc and here is what i told them and this is going to be beneficial for all of you because it is about how you think there's absolutely no need to panic first of all second is i have worked in the industry for 20 years and there are a lot of people watching this video who have been in the industry for 25 30 years all of us have survived so that's good news you don't need to panic if you are just getting into the industry because industry continues to evolve when i got into the industry main frame jobs were hot cake lot of people came into main frame jobs they left their jobs in different industries and they got into it to do main frame work they used to work on db2 cobol and stuff like that today number of jobs in main frame may be very very limited right so the industry continues to evolve there was a time when software developers who developed websites were very very much in demand even today they are in demand but the demand has reduced why because today you have softwares that can automatically build your websites today you have drag and drop options you don't need to write code okay you don't need to sit hours and hours and write html code or javascript code to build websites it's a drag and drop no code low code solutions are available everywhere so the nature of software development has changed okay similarly testing jobs will change you will not need so many manual testers to do the job but you will need people who understand ai and ml and who can build smart solutions for testing purposes so in my view the basic redundant manual jobs for example data entry almost gone customer service support almost gone if you have noted number of job openings for these kind of roles has drastically reduced and it will continue to reduce because the software solutions that can do data entry or the software solutions that can do customer support have become pretty advanced just like humans and that's why you don't need humans to do those jobs now so where should you focus the million dollar question where should you focus a first of all don't panic do whatever you are doing but in parallel learn or try to learn these things for long term number 1 please get introduced to ai and ml even if you don't want to build a career in ai and ml it is very important for you to know ai and ml at the fundamental level 20 years ago we were told if you are getting into it industry no c language c and c++ right procedural programming object oriented programming those were like the things which were fundamental today these things are taught in the 10th standard in the 9th standard so that's why if you are graduating out of college you are supposed to know ai and ml period there is no doubt about it thing that was the first thing second thing if you want to think about future try to understand what is quantum computing because as quantum computing matures we will see a new breed of software development and we will need people who will be able to deliver that that was point number 2 point number 3 blockchain beyond cryptocurrencies blockchain technology may find and will find wider adoption so that's why if you are interested in that it is a good area to get into right now point number 4 edge computing with proliferation of iot devices edge computing will get more importance please google that and learn more about it Point number five: As hardwares continue to improve, AR and VR applications will continue to become mainstream. By AR, I mean augmented reality, and by VR, I mean virtual reality. This can be one more vertical in which there will be lot of jobs in near future. And last but not the least, with increase in data breaches and increase in cyber attacks, there will be a heightened focus on cyber security, and there will be a heightened focus on developing secure software. So, if you want to get into cyber computing, that's a great idea as well.
all right so as a it professional you need to be adaptable you need to understand where is the trend going and then jump on the right trend at the right time you don't need to overthink you don't need to panic it is about knowing which train you want to board and which train is going to take you in the right direction hope you found this useful do let me know your thoughts in comments if you think somebody else can benefit from it share it in your network i'll see you in another video soon take care and bye for now